Good evening, class. On behalf of Group D, Jacqueline Lopez, Rico Bruce, and myself, Sebastian Ruiz, we will be presenting on Generation Z and the landscape of the workplace. Did you know that by the year 2025, Generation Z will make up 27% of the working population? Gen Z typically is the demographic group born between 1997 and 2012. Gen Z is the next upper management and will influence society and economies. We want to focus on the future and what the workforce will look like. Generation Z is the youngest generation in the workforce and has significant purchasing power. As they continue to grow older and enter the workforce, their influence on the economy and consumer market will continue to increase. Therefore, it is crucial for companies to understand and cater to the preferences, behaviors, and needs of Generation Z to capture their loyalty and gain their business and employment in the long term. Our research question is how are organizations across diverse industries taking action to meet the expectations of Gen Z in the workplace? Knowing this demographic will soon be a major factor in the workplace, we thought it would be valuable to research how organizations are adjusting to this trend. In this presentation, we will utilize the STAR model theory, Strauss Howe theory of generations, and motivational theory. Fortune 500 company and the star model, uh, we use the star model to examine how Amazon is taking action to meet the expectations of Gen Z. Amazon's strategies include diversity, equity, inclusion, a supportive culture, tech advances in their company, and social issues and climate. Amazon Structure will utilize its leadership and management to implement these strategies. Amazon's processes are onboarding practices, their job training, well-being programs that are important to Gen Z. Amazon provides incentive and motivation by competitive pay, healthcare benefits, 401k match programs, stock investment opportunities, and paid college tuition. Amazon's people is their human resources, their policies and regulations, and Gen Z employees. Now we're gonna talk about the Strauss How Generational Theory. The Strauss How Generational Theory shows how generations influence society. Also known as the theory of generations, it indicates that a recurring cycle of same age groups with specific behavior patterns changes every 20 years according to the present moment's needs. Their values also depend on their birth period and what they have witnessed in political, economic, technological, and social changes. The authors are playwright William Strauss and historian Neil Howe. Authors, there are the authors of the book, Generations, The History of America's Future, 1584 to 2069, which was released in 1981, and there have been several updated versions of this book. For this theory, we're focusing on the, most four, on the four most current generations. Data from the Pew Research Center shows that baby boomers are those born between 1946 and 1964, Generation X from 65 to 80, Millennials from 81 to 96, and Generation Z from 97 to 2012. This last generation is the one that is currently influencing society in many ways. It is vital to remember that Gen Z are considered digital natives. While Gen X was born in the era of the computer revolution and millennials during the internet explosion, Gen Z from birth have usually met people virtually visited different parts of the world, they continue shopping, paying bills, and do much more with just a few clicks on a smartphone or a computer. 
being surrounded by the internet and technology has opened more doors for Gen Z to possibly create nomadic jobs where they can earn money without being attached to an office. This is where the organizations are getting creative in order to address this generation's interest. One of these changes came during the COVID-19 pandemic. While many older people hesitated to go to a physical job, fearing they may catch the virus and get ill or even die, Amazon committed $1.2 billion to provide 300,000 employees with access to education and skills training programs through the Amazon Upskilling 2025 pledge. Some of the incentives include college tuition for frontline employees and other training and certifications like coding, cloud fluency, apprenticeships in mechatronics and robotics, research and design, and much more. This has proven that the digitalization of the economy carries many economic and social benefits, like the decline in cost and the increased availability of mass education. Now we're going to focus on the motivational theory. Motivational theory refers to the study of various factors that drive and influence human behavior, specifically related to motivation. This theory explores the internal and external factors that stimulate, guide, and maintain behavior in individuals. Motivational theory plays a significant role in understanding and managing Generation Z employees in the workforce. Generation Z, born between the late 1990s and mid-2000s, represent a unique cohort with interesting characteristics and preferences, understanding their motivational drivers and crucial for employers to effectively engage and keep them in the workforce. Applying the motivational theory helps manage Generation Z employees in the workforce, which can lead to increased employee engagement, improved performance, enhanced retention, a positive work culture, and attraction of top talent. These benefits can contribute to overall success and competitiveness of organizations in the modern workplace. Understanding motivational theory can help individuals and organizations to better understand the factors that drive that behavior and to develop strategies for enhancing motivation and achieving desired outcomes with the company. So we've came up with five ways to engage and motivate the Gen Z employees. One, provide growth opportunities. Two, to respect their independence. Three, to practice frequent communication. Four, to recognize their hard work. Five, create a community. Generation Z employees appreciate having a voice and being able to contribute their ideas and feedback. Encourage an open feedback culture and valuing their input helps your overall organization. Provide channels for feedback such as surveys, focus groups, or suggestion boxes. So we've decided to call to action. Make Gen Z employees a priority. Gen Z is the youngest generation in the workforce and they're entering the job market in significant numbers. As baby boomers retire and Gen X and millennials continue to hold leadership positions Gen Z employees are increasingly becoming a significant part of the workforce. Ignoring their values and preferences may result in missed opportunities to attract and retain top talent in your company or business. In the long run, this could affect your company's longevity or credibility. Gen Z can contribute fresh ideas, perspectives, and approaches to problem solving, which can benefit the organization's competitiveness and overall success. Thank you for listening. And these are our references.